All right, so I want to start off today's video by firstly just saying thank you to everyone who has subscribed to the channel over the last month. It's been fantastic to have new subscribers come along for the ride. And if you haven't subscribed yet, then please consider doing it. You're helping me grow this channel and I really appreciate it. And uh, so thanks for watching the videos and you know if you're liking them, commenting, sharing them on social media, then again, thank you very much. Now today we're talking Nico Williams as he prepares to leave Liverpool as his career is taking him away from Anfield and looks like on to Nottingham Forest, who were just promoted to the Premier League for the upcoming 2022-2023 season. Now, Williams spent the first half of last season with Liverpool before going out on loan in January, looking for first-team opportunities with Fulham, and he found them there. He had a fantastic second half of the season playing in the championship for Fulham, and helping them achieve promotion by winning the division. Williams played 14 times for Fulham last season, scoring two goals and telling two assists during his time there, and really was a revelation helping Fulham to push forward and hold off Bournemouth to achieve promotion to the Premier League. Now, he was getting very little playing time in the Premier League. Uh, was playing Premier League 2 matches for Liverpool, playing for the under-18s in the Premier League, or under-18 Premier League, I should say. Uh, playing in matches, just looking for any type of playing time because Trent Alexander-Arnold was keeping Nico Williams out of the first team at Liverpool. And looking at his opportunities with the first team at Liverpool last season, it was very few and far between. 13 match appearances, uh, he did have an assist, but only played 368 minutes across those 13 Premier League games. And in the Champions League, he made seven appearances and again, putting one assist on the, uh, on the score sheet, on the stats, and uh, telling 368 minutes of Champions League football. Now I should go back and say he actually played 484 minutes of Premier League football. Williams just not finding those first team opportunities there with Liverpool and needing to leave to, to get that first team opportunity. And we've already seen Liverpool go out and sign, uh, sign Calvin Ramsey from Aberdeen this off season with the idea that um, Nico Williams would be moving on and it is about to happen. Now, Nottingham Forest are going to pay £16 million reportedly for Nico Williams' services. And Nottingham Forest are in need of a new right wing back as Jed Spence will be moving to Tottenham this offseason. Now, Williams will have plenty of playing time and now it's all about him making that step up. Performed well last season for Fulham in the championship, but now it's about making that step up to being a regular first team player in the Premier League. And in my opinion, we saw him uh, struggle at times, especially in defense for Liverpool when he was called upon to take over for Trent, uh, for Trent Alexander-Arnold. And he struggled. He, he had trouble making that step up to the Premier League games and playing against Premier League caliber attackers. So I think Nico Williams, he definitely will be able to use a lot of what he learned last season with Fulham and to, to go forward. But I think this is a fantastic move for Liverpool because Williams was never going to um, get past uh, Trent Alexander-Arnold in that uh, fight for the the starting position there at right back. I mean, unless there was a long-term injury to Alexander-Arnold or he was going to be moved into a different position, we were never going to see Nico Williams uh, become that player, become that first choice right back uh, for Liverpool. Now, Liverpool are set to get £16 million for Nico Williams, which is a fantastic fee. He's valued currently at £7.2 million by transfer market and has a contract with Liverpool till 2025. He's gotten lots of playing time in cup competitions with Liverpool previously, but now he'll have plenty of time to get those first team opportunities in the Premier League for Nottingham Forest. Now, recently I was scrolling through Twitter and I saw um, a, a tweet or two from Liverpool supporters complaining about Liverpool not giving academy players first team opportunities or getting academy players through into the first team, which was absolutely a load of rubbish. Williams came through the Liverpool academy, he was with the youth teams, and progressed all the way into the first team. We've seen this with Alexander-Arnold, we've seen it with Tyler Morton recently, we've seen it with Cade Gordon recently, we've seen players at Liverpool being given first team opportunities more than we've been seeing a lot of players elsewhere, Manchester United for one, uh, Chelsea another, These those teams not necessarily giving players the first team opportunities that Liverpool have been given, have been giving to the academy players, the academy graduates at Liverpool. So anyone who thinks that Liverpool aren't giving those players uh, a chance is, is absolutely wrong. 
And for the most part, a club like Liverpool at the moment in modern football, they're not looking necessarily to bring those kids through to the first team and to to make them stars. I mean, in, in certain cases, Alexander Arnold, for example, that has happened. But for the most part, in modern football, clubs, big clubs like Liverpool, big clubs like Manchester City, they're looking to bring players into the first team or prepare them for first for first team football and sell them off for a profit. Then using that money, they're going to either continue to pay salaries to the players that they have or, or to sign new players or to assign more established stars. That is the role of an academy in modern football for the biggest clubs. Now, a team down the football pyramid, of course, they're going to be looking to bring players through and to develop those players into good, high quality first team players. But that's not the role of the big football clubs in modern football. And I know a lot of people will say, oh, well, that's rubbish. They shouldn't be doing that. They should be trying to build their own players. But again, it's very difficult to turn a player, a, a, a diamond in the rough, if you will, a child uh, who is brought into the academy at 12 years old and to advance them in the next six to eight years into being a high quality first team footballer, especially with the way that uh, the football world is today, with the, the quality that you have in the Premier League. So uh, I think that is, you know, such a, a silly thing to say that Liverpool are not bringing through good players in the academy, because again, they need to be selling a lot of those players off to to sign the big name players that are already established or to give the salaries to the already established players. Now, I did a little bit of research earlier and got my whiteboard here and looking at the players Liverpool have sold or are about to sell this season. So we've got three. We've got Takumi Minamino, who was sold to Monaco for 15 and a half million pounds. We've got Williams, who is going to go for 16 million pounds to Nottingham Forest and Sadio Mane, who will go for 35 million pounds to Bayern Munich once it's all said and done, once it's all said and done for the Mane deal. Now that is a total of 66.5 million pounds. And if you look at the initial fee that Liverpool have paid for Darwin Nunez, that covers the initial fee. Now it doesn't cover any of the, uh, the add-ons and the bonuses that Nunez could earn, but at 66 and a half million pounds, covers that initial 64 or so million pound fee that Liverpool paid to Benfica. Now, if you break down the salaries of these players, uh, Minamino was on £60,000 a week, Williams on £25,000 a week, and Mane on £200,000 a week. That is a total of £285,000 a week that those players were on. So Liverpool is moving some players on, some players that either A, wanted to go, or B, needing first team opportunities and, and not able to find them. Liverpool have accommodated those players and moved them on, and they've reinvested that money. So anyone who has said Liverpool haven't reinvested money, well, they would be wrong because th that money has all gone back into the team and that £285,000 salary um, that Liverpool have have uh, have found, um, that has helped go into re-signing Mohamed Salah. So Liverpool have done some good business this summer. And if you break those numbers down, I think that you see even more how good Liverpool's business has been. Now, there is the idea that Liverpool are not done in the transfer market. I've said before, I think that there is going to be one more player, at least one more player coming in sometime before September the 1st. So we'll wait and see that happen. I don't think it's a midfielder, so calm down. I think it's going to be uh, at another position and it might not even be a first team or a, sorry, I should say a first choice player. Now, Liverpool are considering loaning out Nat Phillips. There's question marks around Joe Gomez's future. There's question marks about... Uh, Alex Oxley chamberlain and whether he will stay for another season. So Liverpool could could grow, Liverpool could grow, I should say, uh, Liverpool could grow that transfer fee amount that they've been bringing in and grow that uh, amount of money in salary that they've also shed. So there's a lot of things going on right now. We've got lots of time until the transfer window closes. And I've said before on previous videos, I think there's going to be a lot of activity from all Premier League teams come August. There's been a lot of activity already. There's going to be more activity in August once we see teams beginning to play because there's going to be players wanting to move to prepare for that Winter World Cup. Now, selling Williams, right thing to do. Calvin Ramsey has come in. He can play that right back position. Joe Gomez can play the right back position. James Miller can play that right back position. So back on topic now, 16 million pounds for a player you've brought through your academy who is valued at 7 million pounds and again, was not going to get too many sniffs of first team football, uh, at least starting 
uh, in place of Trent Alexander-Arnold this upcoming season. Fantastic business by Liverpool. Good luck to Nico Williams as he leaves uh, the club. But uh, again, the academy working the way that it needs to work in 2022, bringing through the players who can go into that first team and to become starters, which are rare, you know, are rare uh, at the moment. Uh, but Liverpool able to sell on those players, the Harry Williams, the Ryan Kent, let's not forget about them, and now the Nico Williams. All right, guys, let me know what you think about this transfer, Liverpool sending Nico Williams to Nottingham Forest for £16 million. Pounds. Let me know in the comments below. And of course, you can always find my social media handles in the description below. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, wherever you, wherever you can find me. Just uh, find me and those uh, social media handles are down in the description below. And also, guys, again, thank you so much for subscribing to the channel and helping me grow this. I really appreciate it. And uh, hopefully we can grow this all together this upcoming season. And I will see you soon back here on Liverpool Reds FC blog. Thanks for watching.